Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. My name is Martin. How do we decouple this? Undock. Now which ship are we on? <laughs> uh, the problem is, is I need to do this quick. Uh, the moon is rising and I'm flipped the wrong way. RCS, back off. Yes, we are on this ship. Good thing is, I do have the RCS on though. Activate the engine. And so there's the moon there. Still plenty of time to get a burn in. Wow, that didn't uh, take a lot of fuel. <laughs> that, yeah, so that's good because then I can get in orbit there. I think I still have lots of fuel left in this stage. If I've done this correctly, I think that I have. It's a docking port, but I did. I did I put two on? I've got a decoupler here too. What the heck was I doing? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I might have screwed this up. We'll find out. I think this uh, bacon probe has enough fuel to land on the moon and get back anyway on its own. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, it didn't take much fuel. Uh, maximum of Earth effect down there. We are long gone from the manly. No, no, it's... Is that it there? I'm going to switch to it, actually, because... Uh, I need to switch its icon back to a space station icon. It seems to have switched while I uh, while I was away. And I, I need to rename it as well. <coughs> there we go. Perfect. There we go. So yeah. Here we are. Sun is setting. Hopefully the moon is not in the shadow. Uh, no, it should be should be good. That just happened to Scott Manley and his uh he had a uh, Edgar Allan probe on the moon. <laughs> ah, that's loud. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. The naming the Raven uh, SSTO plane got it uh, into orbit, and then it. Uh, shot the Edgar Allan probe out to the moon. I think this thing is... does this thing... Yeah, okay, it's set to probe. Okay, good. Close that. And fast forward to the moon. Okay, two minutes to the burn. It's a for some reason it does not seem to be wanting to tell me what uh, my burn times are. Don't know what that's about, but uh, it'd be nice to be able to estimate. You know, to to how early do I need to start burning? So I'll give it a little bit of time. Hey, what's that down there? I wonder where we are on the moon. And there's something potentially there, too. Huh. Yeah, I don't know exactly. How much sun are we going to be losing? Not until long after the, the burn. Okay. So what else can I talk about? 
Uh, this is my first time back to the moon in point one eight. So I'm obviously excited about that. Just have a little bit of beer. I'm a little worried. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, have I been burning mono propellant? No, good. <laughs> a little worried about um, leaving this piece of junk in orbit around the moon, but you know who cares if, if I've messed up? I think I have. I think I need two. I needed two docking bits there, so who knows why I have one? <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe it was because I was thinking that this would stick on the space station, then something else could stick on its back. I wasn't thinking about using this as a a piece that could. Uh, that could, uh, you know, recouple back to and uh, use it for, just like they did the lunar lunar uh, the command module staying in orbit while the lunar lander went down and came back up. Well, I guess that's probably close enough. 18 seconds. Oh, this isn't a big burn at all. Pretty close. And so we are in lunar orbit. How much fuel? Again, tons and tons of fuel. I could use this to deorbit myself, yeah, because I don't think this is going to be able to come back. So I'll use as much of this fuel as I can. I could probably land on this actually pretty easily, <laughs> I think. Um, but I won't. I'll let it crash and then I'll land on my legs and yeah, makes sense that way. So where are we going to land on the day side here? Of course we know there's fun, some fun things around. I think, is it is it up here? Or I don't really, maybe I don't know exactly. Let's land, I don't know, maybe somewhere around in this area. I don't think I've ever been there before. So I'll just fast forward around and then, well, let's see, we can actually do this fairly well. Let's add a node here. And we'll do a deorbit. See how many meters a second this will be. Not many, I'm thinking. Let me just see where are we here. Okay. Whoops, whoops. So somewhere there will give me some flexibility. So 65 meters a second, again, not very much. I like the fact that you could do a normal or anti-normal um, addition here as well, and and then you just follow the blue thing. You don't really need to do two different burns like I would have done in the past, or estimating somewhere in between normal and you know, retro or something like that. But I'm, I'm just kind of just kind of wherever I come down is I'm fine with, so. 15 minutes to burn. <clears throat> we'll just uh, head on over there. And two minutes to burn. RCS. Sometime around now. There we go. This is easy. I love it. And I imagine, yep, yeah, still tons of fuel. <laughs> Embarrassing amounts of fuel, really. But let's head around until we start really losing some altitude. It's 
So 26 kilometers. Again, we don't have the um, the cockpit view with the radar altimeter to tell us how low we are going to be. So we're gonna have to eyeball it. But this uh, this stage's engines are the three or the four of them combined are pretty powerful. Don't know exactly what their thrust is offhand, but you know, multiply that by four. And we have enough power, do we? These are providing power. Perfect. So nothing to worry about there. So we're coming up. Are we over the first crater? And I was thinking maybe yeah, somewhere around here. Maybe right up on the edge. I have no idea. Well, let's bleed off some of this horizontal velocity. It'll be the closer edge, I don't know. These don't look nearly as defined. Uh, maybe the textures just have a to update, but they look really defined on the, the map. Uh, not as much here. Yeah, I'll be somewhere around on that edge of the crater. Might be a little hilly, <laughs> depending on where I'm coming down. Okay for RCS. Oh yeah, plenty of RCS. And tons of fuel left here. Starting to get down a little low though. Not that not that it's really anything too much to worry about. I just don't want to botch my first moon landing. <laughs> not that that would be a terrible thing either, honestly, but I've botched enough moon landings in my day. somewhere around vertical. Uh, did that work? I don't know if that's staged or not. <laughs> what if we just... There we go. Nice. Okay. Enough uh, playing around. Let's get the gear down. Why is the RCS not working there? Hmm, I don't know. Is that really the sound these engines make? <laughs> Loud. Loud and, uh, yeah. Powerful, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Gives us a good idea of how far we have to go. Going to be okay. I don't really foresee any problems here. One thing I was thinking about is I could have done three engines uh, instead of four and three landing legs too to save a bit, but.
There we are. A nice, fairly easy landing. Wow, that's close on the clearance. <laughs> Don't need the docking thing as much anyway, although I guess I could back this probe onto the Manly Space Station on the way back and maybe leave it there, I don't know. Here we are on the moon, let's uh, turn on some sensors. We're in vacuum, that's good, I'd be worried if we weren't. Here we are doing science on the moon, very exciting. It's not that cold really, <laughs> I guess it's in the sun, actually wouldn't it be really warm typically? I don't know. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's get a screenshot of that and there we are. And yeah, that we could leave this probe here, I guess, doing science. There's no, I don't think, any real reason to send it back yet. There we go. Is it still a probe if it's landed? I don't know. Is there another option? Okay. Is it more of a rover now or a base? Hmm. I love that there's all these different options. Lander? It's a lander. How about that? Even though it's only a, uh, a probe, it's not a... It's an unmanned, it's not a not a manned lander. But that, of course, is the next step. Uh, and I think that's something maybe we should aim towards. Where do we end up on the moon? Just just on the upper side of this crater. I could fly this to a better spot if I wanted. but For now, I'm happy. Uh, didn't put any lights on. I should have put some lights on. I think I'm going to do another version of the bacon probe. That That's maybe a thought. Um, just do a slight improvement to bacon 2 or something like that. Or... Uh, Canadian bacon? I don't know. <laughs> so, there we are on the moon. Uh, I hope that was uh, a good episode. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm still enjoying my beer here. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. My name is Martin, and I'll see you soon.